What's up, guys? <laughs> Woo, let's exit out of this. Sarah, be here in a little coffee shop, cafe with you guys. Oh my goodness. Ah, it's a laptop in the background, a red laptop. Anyway, guys, so this is a little chill today. We are just here uh, having a little espresso, as you can see. Maybe I should back up some. This is all trial and error. Anyway, having a little coffee here, getting ready for the weekend. Gonna be super fun. And uh, I got the iPad here, and it's just gonna be a chill, just chatting session with you guys. I always uh, try to play games and do different things on here and end up just talking to you guys the whole time anyway. Um, so I thought I would dedicate this just to y'all, you know, little 20, 30 minute hang sets, whatever we feel like. All right, so I'm trying to do this by myself. How do I get to just chatting again? I forget. Webcam I hit. This is all a learning experience for me, guys. Oh my goodness. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to, oh, there we go. Chat. Boom. I didn't even have to call Techo the tech. Um, Twitch chatting. Here we go. Anyway, how's that? How have you guys been? Hope well, you all have had a um a good Friday so far. Um, the chat is not showing up. All right, I'm going to be real with you guys right now. I was wondering if y'all could hear the audio before this because Tekla and I were like yelling at each other <laughs> trying to get this going. It was so bad. And, uh, and now immediately when I started this, he ran to go poop because, uh, I don't know if you ladies, if there's any ladies in here or with, uh, your guys, if they crap like a lot because Tekla poops so much. And it's weird because at his old job, he used to say that he loved pooping at work because it's like he got paid to poop. But now at this new job, he drives like 45 minutes and he always has to poop, but he never poops at work. He drives home and he's like, hi, and kisses me on the cheek and runs to the bathroom. And he's in there for like 20 or 30 minutes and it's maddening. And especially when it's something to do or I'm like, hey, honey, how's your day? Like, no, it's never like that. It's like, gotta poop immediately. So he came home today, set this up for me and runs straight to the bathroom. Now I don't have just chatting on here, and I can't ask him, so I'm just letting you guys know this right now. Um, Teko is in the bathroom pooping, and I'm going to call him for tech advice. So here we go. Here we go. Hello. Hey, babe, are you pooping? No. Uh, what are you doing? I'm making sure that your stream is working. So are you outside this room? Yes. So have you heard this entire thing I've said? Yeah. And you still waited on me to call you? Yeah. Why didn't you just come in and help me? Because you gotta ask for help. You're so frustrating! No wonder, like, you don't get along with people at work if you're like this. <laughs> Can you please come fucking help me? Yes, hold on. God. I swear, you guys, it's amazing that I'm still in a relationship. Anyway, can you guys hear me okay? Is everything working okay? I put just chatting and it says connected. Oh, now it's working. I swear to God, the second you walked in, maybe it's just delayed. Uh, I don't know. Is there supposed to be anything on the TV? This is so weird. Okay. But for the first time, I'm just like talking to nothing. It is very strange. This is must be the, must feel like to be in show business, huh? Don't zoom in on me. No. What are you doing? Focus. What's behind me here? Over here? That white thing. You see that? Uh, it's part of the background. Oh, I knew that because I'm here, obviously. Okay, bye. Thanks. Go take a poop. I know you need to because you're full of shit all the time. 
<laughs> love you too he's flipping me off all right guys i was just having a sig and got a notification okay so that's uh exciting also the text is all on like delay which i don't like so i'm like leaning over and looking at this um hold on first off Steven gets it a tier one subscription thank you for doing that i appreciate that so much and uh Let's see, somebody else did that earlier. I appreciate that, you guys, so much. Oh, look at that, another one. It helps me so much, guys, when when y'all buy a subscription or gift one, or if you're an Amazon uh, Prime member, you actually don't have to uh, buy one at all. It's free, and you can do it every month, and, uh, and it helps me out, so that's pretty cool. Sounds goof, <laughs> sounds good. Dad's bourbon, okay, that sounds a lot better than what I'm having. I'm actually having an espresso right now. I don't know if you guys have Nespresso machines, but you heard Kiri talk about it all the time. I got one recently, like December, and I honestly did not expect to like it this much. I am obsessed with this thing. We use it so much, and all the different flavors you can buy from around the world and the different stories behind them, it's really exciting. We also just spent money on these new cute little cups with, uh, with little saucers and spoons, pretty cute. Basically, we did that because uh, the other day I was in the bathroom and as you guys know, if you uh, if you hear the show like and Carrie and hear me talk about my awful neighbors and just all the shenanigans that go on in this apartment, it's pretty awful. So I was in the bathroom peeing, and all of a sudden I hear glass break, like somebody throws a plate or something, and I'm like, oh my god, somebody's fighting. Like it's got to be the neighbors or something. Uh, so then like 30 seconds goes by, I hear another smash. So I, I text my boyfriend and I say, I think the neighbors are fighting. They're like throwing plates or something, but it's only like every 30 seconds or so, or a minute will go by. Uh, well, I got done peeing and went out uh, to the kitchen. <laughs> Our really, really nice porcelain espresso cups were shattered all over the floor. One of my cockatoos had flown over to the other side of the island, and I guess picked them up in her stupid little beak, walked them to the end of the counter, and just dropped them off and shattered them. So that was exciting. I was just like, <laughs> this really just happened, so we went and bought new ones. And there you go. Let's see here. Heko needs acidophilus pills for his stomach issues. I don't know if he has stomach issues. I think he just poops a lot. It's really weird. Can we call him and see if he's pooping now? Oh, hold on. Let's do it. Sometimes I wonder why he's still with me. Actually, you know what? No, he doesn't. I deal with a lot of his BS, and so he has to deal with mine, too. Let's see if he's pooping. Hey, baby. Yes. Are you pooping? No. Why? Well, while you're here, do you have stomach issues? Uh, yeah, I'm currently hungry. That's the only issue. You're hungry, so you don't have like like other like upset tummy issues all the time. No. I see. Okay, because somebody suggested uh, GJ1025. In fact, suggested that you need acidophilus pills for your stomach issues, and maybe that will make you poop less. Uh, I feel like. I schedule thank you uh, you poop like seven times a day not seven like three maybe yeah but how come you poop every day when you get home like why don't you go before you leave that's just my schedule i don't know all right fine. all right well i was hoping to catch you pooping goodbye goodbye <laughs> all right let's see here guys i'm gonna touch up over here let's see paying for the gift from steven to the community oh wow Oh, that's so sweet. Oh my goodness. From P1 on a walker. It's about time, girl. Sorry, spreadsheet. Oh, it's about time because I like literally never stream. Oh my God, that is the sweetest thing. And I'm so sorry for your loss. And well, it's only coffee, but cheers. <laughs> Miss you, P1 on a walker. And I was going to say, every time it makes me sad because I haven't streamed on here lately. And every time we would get on, I would say like it would be the last subscription or the last tip or something like that was from P1 and a walker and every time my heart would just oh so sad so love you man thank you so much all right let's see here uh make sure him and the bird aren't eating the same thing <laughs> the birds move a lot more than him if you have a little bird like a like a cockatiel or a love bird or something like that um they poop a lot like Every couple minutes and they're teeny little poops and I'm sorry poop is gross I get it but at least bird poop doesn't smell bad like that's a good thing about that so in my opinion I think it's better than having to walk a dog constantly and smell the nasty poo and back me up a little more here we go Ugh. so there you go um, but my birds 
can hold it through like a whole movie or something if they're on me or sleeping or just chilling out and then you can take them in their cage, put them on it, and they'll go poo. The lower the weight, it's a very giant poo. Why are we talking about poo so much? <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Um, let's see. What's good, man? Hello there. Zero cool. Zero cool. Also, shout out to, or shout out to rest in peace. That's two, like, P1's gone, you guys. Cool and P1 in a walker. It's just so sad. I haven't even, like, done a stream lately, so we can't go into the sadness of the freaking legends that we've lost. So, again, if you're drinking, cheers to them. P1 in a walker and cool. And I'm having Kona Espresso. Let's see. Did you say espresso machine? I said it. I don't think Curry probably has an espresso machine. This is actually a Nespresso, though. The one I have is the new, uh, well, I don't know if it's a new model, but it's the Virtuo. Apparently, there's different pods. There's old ones and then new ones as well. So, Holly Noel, Michigan, Natalie here. Uh, you are not late, Natalie. I'm late. I'm late to everything. I'm late to work all the time. I'm late to family events, dinners. I'm late to everything I freaking do. And I was late to this. <laughs> be fair to Seko, um, I kind of threw this at him last minute. I was like, all I need is a coffee background. And I will say... Every reason I'm very lucky for having Teco and you know having a producer or technology dude or whatever, and I am. But he's really good at his job. And the bad thing about that is that he is a perfectionist. So all I said was I don't know if you guys heard this song at the beginning by Death Clock, which made me really happy. Metalocalypse fans, if there's any of you out there, you recognize the Duncan Hills jingle. Um, I just wanted that to play at the beginning, and uh, he's like, well, I can put the video up and have this and that, and I'm like. And then I ended up starting the stream late because he's like, well, this is actually really complicated. And I'm like, all I wanted to do was hit play and play the song. And so that's what we were fighting about. I was like, Dave, I get it. I appreciate all your greatness, but I just want to keep it chill and simple. That being said, if you guys want to wait a little longer, I will tell you at the end of the stream before I leave what my plans are for next week. And I'm pretty excited about it. And I'll give you a hint. The song at the beginning has a little bit to do with it. So you will see. Let's see. How is the stand up going? Oh, my God. Techno, get off of here. <laughs> Tech is now in the chat, you guys. Rain9410. That's right, I'm calling you out. So now everybody knows your screen name. He says, I still want a dog. He wants a dog really bad. I'm like, that is the last thing we need in this apartment. We're on the second floor, getting a puppy and having to take it out constantly. I'm down for a dog, but like when we get a house with a yard, it would be nice. Anyway, the stand up, uh, I haven't done anything else. Like per usual, Sarah B is a uh, procrastinator and I say I'm gonna do stuff and I don't and I just am like tomorrow and then I watch Netflix and chill on the couch and you know it's just so easy to be lazy and <laughs> complacent so much easier but I'm trying I actually have some ideas on Twitch uh, about stand-up it could help me like ease into it a little more but I had a really really good time doing it and uh, and I would love to do it again honestly so guitar is my this is cool uh, this is a very it's a new coffee shop here in Dallas uh, called uh, Brown Beans. Uh, yes, so welcome. You you should, uh, you know, thank you guys for joining me. Great espresso here at, at Brown Beans. I love Brown Beans. That's why I'm with the Mexican guy. Did you hear that joke? Did you like it? Thank you. <laughs> oh. Anywho, uh, let's see. <laughs> I'm, this is my bad thing about just chatting. That, that or this. I can do just chatting forever, but I'm like slow to read your comments and I elaborate like a paragraph on a sentence. It's funny too because I was in the gym before this and I was looking up like tips for just chatting. Like why not? Because I was bored of, on the treadmill and I'm ADD and I need something to keep my mind going so I don't just quit. <laughs> so apparently just chatting is like one of the hardest platforms for streamers to do or varieties of streaming for streamers to do. Because it's usually gamers, and they're, like, really bad at talking to people or interacting. For me, it's, like, the opposite. If I'm playing games or doing this or that, like, that's not easy for me. But the talking is so easy. And I guess it comes from working for Lexus Terry for a bajillion years. So, let's see. Are Gatsby's feathers coming back in yet? They are. I have uh, been posting some pictures and videos of them lately. There's, like, a couple little spots on the sheet and then a tiny little bald spot in the front where there's still no feathers, but he looks better than ever, and uh, he's doing so great. So thank you for asking about my little baby. Let's see. Uh, we got no worries. He believes in you. His spreadsheet had things planned once you got back on. Ah, Steven, I'm going to cry, and then my big eyelashes are going to come off. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, get it, girl. Nice shirt. Thank you, thank you. Tits up. Miss Maisel, speaking of stand-up. 
Uh, <laughs> see, I'm watching this while driving. That is not a good idea. Maybe you should just listen to the audio but not watch because uh, please be careful out there. There are some crazy drivers. Um, okay, we got Tego, stop posting dog pictures. Gosh. Howdy, Godfather. Hello, um, Mr. Saison. Thank you for the peep story today, by the way. It went over very well. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, little Gatsby icons. I wish you could see my Witches of Eastwick pick. Well, send it to me, Beagle Blizzard. I would love to see it. Brown keys. <laughs> Much love. Absolutely, Steven. Uh, sup, number 69, girl. Michigan Natalie. Stop posting dog pictures, baby. I'm going to block you. You're laughing in there. Where did you get the best Bloody Mary down in Tacoma? Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. I kind of like some people in the stream. I'm going to call my mom because I will tell you this is another story for another time. My very first uh, Mardi Gras I went to. I went to uh, Homa, Louisiana and stayed there with friends that were from there. We had a big crawfish boil, a lot of delicious mud bugs that were eaten. We went to this, I think it was called Frank's, but I'm going to make sure for you. So we went to this place to get the Bloody Mary, and then we went down to Bourbon Street and a bus and went up to a balcony for, um, for Mardi Gras. I was wearing like six inch heel boots that went up to my knees, tiny little golden booty shorts, and then I got my boobs painted, <laughs> like black and gold slur and elite, and that's what I wore all night. Oh, there's things I did in my past that I'm like, would I do that again? I don't know. But sometimes I admire the past me and how false we have moments. Hey, Mom, I have a question. You're live on my Twitch right now. Say hi to everybody. Yay. Say hi. Okay, thank you. Um, I have a question. Remember when we went to Homa, Louisiana for uh, yeah. Mardi Gras? And do you remember we had the best Bloody Mary ever at that little dive bar? Franks. Franks, that's what I thought. Okay, you didn't drink one, though, because you don't like Bloody Mary. It's inside of Homa. It's not in Homa. Oh, it's right outside of it. It's between, it's between Homa and New Orleans. Okay, so between Homa and New Orleans. So, okay, but we did stay in Homa, and that's where we had the alligator tour, right? With Junior? Yes. With, yes. What okay. was his name? Junior. Junior. I don't know how I remember that. <laughs> and me talking about that on air is where the bit Cajun man came from with me. So, there you go. All right. Love you. Love you. Bye, host. Hello? <laughs> don't really to go back at me. Maybe she was shy, or maybe she didn't hear me. Who knows? So let's see. All right. Um. So that is where GJ. It's right outside home and called Frank's, and uh, and they're like spicy and thick and just delicious. It was my. It was like the best one I ever had. I swear to God, it was so good. And home of Louisiana is just a cool place. I may need help with my pops beating a month, and he got me working. Oh dear. Well, if you need any help from any of us, you know we got your back. So let us know, please. Uh, I didn't read the shirt till then. <laughs> yeah. I love me some Mrs. Maisel. I don't know if you guys watched season four, but it's super, super good. Let's see. Um, this is like our morning get together. It totally is. And it, it takes me just as long on there. I love it. I'll like five minutes later be down to something that had just happened. It's still on delay. But yeah, I love our little morning Facebook hangs. You look amazing tonight. Thank you, Moses. I appreciate you. I have some lighting. If I could turn the camera, you could see. So that helps. Whole little studio get up in here. In the coffee shop, I mean. Totally. <laughs> um, let's see. Is this on? I pay, pay it forward when you can. Absolutely. Sorry, Pop said this channel was about ETV. Ah, stop. Are you kidding me? God, I love that. Uh, D would not like that if he was here. For those of you who don't know, which you gotta know, ETV is eat that booty. Tego likes to do it. Eat eat the booty. Yeah. I'm in. Let's go. Oh, my mom's on with me right now. All right, let's see. I feel like I'm missing some stuff over here. First time chatter. How come I'm... Oh, there you go. Hello. Hello, first time chatter. Soul Rack 3000. D, I'm not looking ugly. I will block you. I will have my moderator block you for your negativity. This is a very positive stream, okay? And I'm sipping on Kona, Kona Hawaii blend double espresso from Nespresso. Uh, these are like $20 for a sleeve. There's like 10 of them in there. They're really, really good. Plus, I just miss Hawaii with everything in me. Like, I would literally live anywhere in Hawaii. I loved all the islands, and they're amazing, so. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I did by accident. Da -da 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 -da. Block. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a little booty eating. That is absolutely right. Woods on woods. D, 
the the you need to eat the booty. We even had like what's her name? The sex goddess come on and try to tell you to do it and you still wouldn't. That's my boy Teco. E T B Orale. <laughs> Thanks for the stuff, Saison. Thank you guys for all the subscriptions. You guys are rock stars. I really love you all. This is super fun. I love doing it just chatting. But it is about 18 minutes till Beatles goes on to DJ. And uh and so we don't have a lot of time left, but it's fun just chilling here with you guys. Getting ready for a night out. Not a very exciting one, just to be honest. We're going to Best Buy after this. And then uh, let's eat some tacos. So there you go. Exciting things happening in the world of Sarah B. Morgan. Love the shirt, especially with that doc recovering from breast cancer. Absolutely, Saison. Um, absolutely. Me? Yum. All right. Uh, what else? Um, a noise. Uh, la, 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 la. long time listener, first time chatter. I like that. Well, thank you for being here. Uh, like I said, I have a lot of things planned for the upcoming weeks. Um, some <laughs> a lot weirder than others, but you guys like have been listening, and you know how strange I am. So um, you'll you'll get it. Uh, you just roll with it. I'll tell you the next one has something to do with metal. That's why I played that song at the beginning, and I'll tell you all about that in just a little bit. I'm pretty excited about it. Let's see. Like groceries. Eat that booty like groceries. That's right. Ramon in the house. What up? Is this my Ramon from Facebook that's always online in the morning? Is that you, Ramon? Let's see. Holly. <laughs> it's cool seeing you too, Sarah. Awesomeness. Thank you. I know, no. If she lost a yap, it would be a national tragedy. If I lost a yap, I would be like... I would have like vertigo. I'd be like tilted, like we talked about earlier in the show this week, the tilt the world. <laughs> it would not be good. And I'd either get it like moved over to have a uniboob or just get them all removed in general. Then I could get like fake boobs tattooed on me. I don't know. We'll see. Um, anyway, let's see. Uh tacos. Who is eating what taco? Oh thoughts. Well, I'm gonna let you know right now, Steven. Oh, you're being dirty. <laughs> I was like getting all excited to talk about tacos, which I will still continue with. Well, what, whatever taco eating might happen after the actual taco eating, we will not discuss because I think we will get banned on Twitch. But I don't know if you guys have a Torchy's Tacos in your area. D hates it because I was going to bash and be like, he doesn't know real tacos. But D, well, Torchy's is very much a white taco place. Babe, would you say that? What? Torchy's is like a white, like a gringo taco place. Oh. Yeah, definitely. But it's good. Uh, I, I'm a queso fan, as you guys know. Jeez in a hole! Put it in my mouth hole is a famous song. Uh, Torchies is my number one queso. They have this one called Hillbilly Queso, and it has like guac and chorizo and um, cilantro and hot sauce, and it is just, oh god, it's divine. It is amazing. But D went there and got this wiener taco. It's like a weenie in a, in a taco. I think that's what he got. Anyway, he got the wrong thing. He needs to go with me, and I can show him it's good. But I don't know if he ever will. We'll see. Um, let's see. So that's where I'm going. They have my favorite taco. They have a different taco every month, like a special or whatever. And this month it's called the Tokyo Drifter. And it's like a teriyaki marinated pork with like a with like a marinated like Asian slaw and uh, some kind of like weird yellow sauce. I don't know. It's freaking delicious though. Oh my god. Anywho, um, <laughs> yes, it's me. Also, what up, Ramon? I still really want to go to Puerto Rico. Your pictures have me jonesing from, what was it, like a month or so ago? Ugh, I really want to go bad. What the fuck is a uniboob? <laughs> I don't know, it's just meant to be like one big boob in the middle. It'd be kind of like if you put a balloon under your shirt, a uniboob. Or like, I don't know, girls say they get uniboobs when they wear sports bras because it pushes them all together like one boob. Maybe it's just a girl thing. If you're a guy, you don't know about the uniboob. Hey, baby. Yeah. Do I get a uniboob when I wear sports bra? Good answer. <laughs> hey, shiny butt D. D, how do you get your butt so shiny? People would like to know. I don't think D's here anymore. I think he did what I used to do to him sometimes. I would show up and say like one or two things and then jet, you know, <laughs> and go do something else. I think you're like around a long time for the DJing stuff uh, during the pandemic, which was super, super fun. And then now D has changed the chat to where it's subscribers only and, uh, and, Oh, he's here. So I subscribe. Ah, people to chat with you beautiful people. D says he puts lotion on it. D, do you put lotion on your own butt or do you get sassy C to put lotion on your butt? Baby! Yeah. Will you put lotion on my butt later? Yeah. Will you put it on my feet? 
baby. When? He never seen foot massages anymore. All right, guys, I'm now taking subscriptions or uh, what is it? Applications for a new boyfriend to give me foot massage, please. What do you think about that? He's not talking to me anymore. Anyway, <laughs> yes, it's me drinking up, shiny butt tea, sipping on the Japanese whiskey. Is it the one Perry talked about? I don't remember what it's called, but I want to try that. When us girls and big boots wear our sports bras, they come together. Yes, see, it's a girl thing. I'll you know all this. <laughs> Nothing like Taco Bell. Tom! Oh my god! My British friend Tom is here! Speaking of that, I have a very good idea for a British thing coming up. Oh, Tom! You should come over and hang out one night and we could do a British show together. Oh my god. You could just be yourself because you're British and I could do a fake accent and you would be annoyed immediately and it would be awesome. And also, I haven't seen you in like 20 years, it feels like. Oh, how exciting! Anyway, nothing like Taco Bell. Coming for it. Tom, do you guys have a. Do you guys have taco places in England? I have a friend that just moved out there. She got married and moved out there and the substitutes for things she has because they don't have in England is it's very strange. And now she got pregnant. So good for her. If you like babies, that's great. <clears throat> Alright, I'm getting behind in my uh, chat again here. He's in a bowl that made your weekend. I just love that that song came up one night when I was wasted and I sang it all night long and now it made it on air, it made it on the round table, like everybody quotes it. I'm like, this is the best thing ever. Even Coach K from, well, former coach of the Bengals, or was he with the Lions most recently? Either way, uh, when he quoted it to me, I was like, okay, I made it. This is so awesome. Uh, aw, little Gibi, that's the best little emoji ever, so cute. D is using baby oil. D, are you lying to us? Are you using baby oil? If so, let us know what kind because your butt is very shiny. It looks good. <clears throat> oh my god, sun flex. All right, yeah, Santori. It is good. Santori. Okay, okay. I've seen that. I've seen a lot of very expensive uh, Japanese uh, whiskeys. I want to try that though. I get to do a fake accent. <laughs> My accent is gone, but in England, trying to train it back. And yes, Taco Bell is back over there. That's about it for chains that I know of. Oh, wow, so England has Taco Bell. Bloody brilliant. That wasn't good. That just sounded like me being loud, like always. So anyway, Tom, I do not believe your accent is gone. Maybe after a couple drinks, uh, it'll come back out. So uh, D says no baby oil, just lotion. Well, what kind of lotion, D? Is it Jergens or Squaw or... Lubriderm. <laughs> I know why that just sounds gross because it sounds like lube. Anyway. Mm. Almost done with my espresso. I'm going to just chat for a couple more minutes here. Vaseline. Ooh, is that what you use? It's also baby lotion. Okay. Ooh, I heard something this morning and it was confirmed by a doctor, although it was on TikTok, so I don't know how like, legit it is. But a woman said she used Vaseline under her eyes every night um, as like an eye cream like to prevent wrinkles and to keep looking young and stuff and it's good for your skin because she didn't want to spend money on expensive uh under eye creams and this doctor went on there after people were hating on her and said no this is completely legit i do the same thing because they're expensive so he said he'll use his regular face stuff wash his face do all that and then he uses vaseline as well i'm like i kind of want to do that now but i like feel like i, I have a very like <laughs> very ugly sleeper i'm a you know face in the pillow mouth open snoring drooling so I feel like the Vaseline would like get up in my eyes and I'd woke up with like swollen eyes and stuff. I just don't think it would be good. Anyway, let's see. <laughs> That's a good point. Lucky Taco Bell stars. Oh, your Taco Bells in England serve beer. Of course they do. You say, can I have a taco and a pint, mate? Is that how you order, Tom? Tell me. <laughs> Astroglide. The best from what I hear. I always heard the term or the phrase, Astroglide can make you slide across concrete. <laughs> But I don't know from experience. <laughs> ah, bacon grease. Ah, funny you say that. I was actually thinking about buying this little bacon grease jar off Amazon. It like it's a sifter on it, so you can pour it in there. It sifts out all the chunks and you know chunks of bacon. I guess is what it is in crumbs. And then the grease goes in there, and then you can use that. It's bad for you, I know, but God, it just makes the best food. Oh my God. All right, first time you're here, I gotta go so wonderful to chat with everyone. I'm actually on my way out too, Mr. Woods on Woods. But thank you so much for joining us. Cheers to you. It was super fun to have you here. <laughs> Pretty accurate impersonation. Thank you. Oh my goodness, you're probably lying, but uh, but I'll take it. Sarah's laughing. <laughs> no homo. 
no homo, no worries, um, but I appreciate that. Let's see, so we're gonna head out pretty soon here. Guys, remember, D is gonna be DJing here in approximately eight minutes, so go join him, join the fun, record some songs, and uh, and rock out with your uh, walk out. That's what I do, because I forget it. Anyway, I'm so funny. Um, <laughs> so I'll take a second to promote. I'm gonna be trying to do, I'm gonna start small with once a week uh, Twitches like this, just because I haven't done it in a while, but look at this. Two weeks in a row. For me, this is like unheard of. Like something's gonna blow up somewhere because this is just uncanny, guys. Um, so next week I'm gonna be doing a bit called Rock Tales, where uh, I will be. Uh, it'll be an all metal theme, rock and metal, and uh, I'll make a special cocktail for you guys. Give it a name, drink with y'all, do another just chatting, and then uh, play some metal music. So that's what next week is gonna be. Next Friday night, Rock Tales. We'll try for 6 p.m. Why not? And uh, and it'll be super fun. We have some other ideas coming up, some games and some other themes, and uh, and maybe we'll bring Tom in here if he's down for it. That would be fun. <laughs> Let's see, uh, Teco, no dogs. They will kill the birds. That is exactly what I tell him, GJ. Thank you. And uh, I know he's not a bird person, but God, having those birds is just so much work. And having a dog with them would be a lot. And Pete, if the dog ever killed my birds, like I told Teco, I would break up. And I'm not, like, threatening, but it's just how it is. I would never forgive him. I know inside. I mean, if he killed Lilu, it would be sad, but <laughs> it would be okay. I'm just kidding. But Gatsby, like, that would, like, that would break my life. Like, that little bird is my everything. Oh, my God. Two dogs, then. Oh, my jeez. Okay. I'm blocking you next time you say something about a dog. <laughs> Very unheard of. Great job. Goblin cock. Okay. I don't know what that is, but I really like the sound of it. I like goblins in general, like, you know, mill dog, stuff like that. Oh, fun. So next hour is hashtag 69 girls, Char, and then God F. Nice. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I love it. All right, you guys. Well, thank you for joining me for this just chatting. It's been super, super fun. Uh, shout out once again and rest in peace to the two legends. Love you guys. He wanted a walker and cool. Who always got mad when I called him J. Cole. Stop calling me by the full name. Also gave me that nickname, Lil Bladder, because I had to pee a lot. Which, by the way, I haven't had to, like, pee in a while during a Twitch. But for a while there, I think it's because we were drinking so much tuna. And we were doing it in the loft upstairs, so I'd have to run downstairs to go pee and run back upstairs. Oh, my God. That was crazy. So uh, thank you guys for all the subscriptions. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, you guys are so loved. Um, oh, and a couple more little comments. You guys should get a dog or two. No, we should not. We should not. My 40-year-old African. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, CJ. That breaks my freaking heart. 40 years is a great, great life, though. So at least there's that. But that is exactly my fear. We're never getting a dog. No, we are not. You can get your own apartment and your own dog, and I'll have my apartment with my birds, and we can have date nights, but we're not having a dog. No, we are not. Oh, can I block him in real life? Yeah, I'm gonna kill him. Cheerio, BFF. Love you, Tom. Thank you for stopping by. Love you, Natalie. Cheers. Look forward to the next time. Good night, Steven. Thank you for everything, and I'm so sorry for your loss. Love you guys. Go check out D's stream, and remember, next week, 6 p.m. Central, Rock Tales, right here, twitch.tv forward slash there be Morgan. Hey, baby. Yeah. How do I stop the stream? <laughs> I'm learning, you guys. I, I did the whole thing at the beginning by myself. I made the song play, I made the video go on me, and then I made the chatting pop up. So that's pretty uh pretty legit. So here you go. Say hi to everyone, Teco. Hello, everyone. Cheers, everyone. Have a great weekend. Be safe out there. Love you all. Do, 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 do.